Oh, I should just join all my little friends. Oh, here's one. Oh, so nice to see you. How long has it been since my head been chopped off? Oh, I don't know, maybe five fucking seconds, because I'm a dumbass little shit who wants to destroy the courier. <laughs> oh, I hope some of my other friends come to find me. Don't worry, I'm on my way. <laughs> it was sure stupid of us to try and destroy the courier, huh? Yes, it very much was so. Well, we sure were shown the lesson that we were supposed to learn, huh? Yes, I do think we were. I'm just gonna rest right here with you guys. I do hope our other friend is coming soon. Oh yes, we sure do miss him. It's been so long. Don't worry, guys, I'm coming. <laughs> Fucking Christ. What am I doing? <laughs> A sure we're shown our lesson, huh? Yeah, we should never destroy the courier. Never try to anyway, because we'll get destroyed instead. <laughs> Look at all of us gathered together. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Hi there, this is the one, the only, Stray Cat, and this is New Vegas, episode 26. When we left off, I had absolutely lost my fucking mind. Okay, and who? Hey Traveling there. merchants. I could use you right the fuck now, because my armor is gone. <laughs> uh, my leather armor is pretty much disintegrated on my body right now, and I uh, picked up a uh, weapon... That I said I wouldn't the first time, but now I decided would probably be a good investment. Uh, yes, that's what I need. Medics you could always use that. And normally I would be trading out. You know, I'd be trading out what I'm buying with stuff that I have in my inventory. But I just got done selling that to Cliff. <laughs> Because I needed to get half of that shit off my body. Um, oh, <laughs> I'll take a couple purified waters. And I'm just going to be running on caps that I have right now. Uh, Pre-war money. That's good. Um, yeah, we're good. I'm going to repair my armor now. Jesus Hubert Christ. I barely survived that whole thing. I didn't survive two times. That's a mercenary, okay. I just... I don't know how I lived at all. I was dead to rights. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even have enough for another freaking weapon repair kit. I need duct tape. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, moving on. We still need to do that uh, one thing for the ghouls, which we're going to head to now. And get that all out of the way. Because that sure fucking needs to get out of the way. Nothing in the mailboxes here. Nothing popped into them while I was gone. No. No? Okay. Then fuck me then. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm just gonna walk it. Because I think I fucking earned the ability to walk to a fucking objective. I really think I have. That's a glowing one. Jesus Christ. I'm having my gun out, but I don't expect much. Oh, I was wrong. There's still one feral ghoul left on the road, and that nearly killed me. Is there anything else? No? Okay. It killed a mole rat. It was eating that. That's what it seems like it was doing. What's that? I thought that was a weird texture. I thought it was a weapon or something. 
I'm just going to be using the 10 mil until it runs out of ammo. Because at this point, my other weapons are putting out far more damage. Whereas, yeah, this is the new gun I got, the that gun. It's basically very useful. It's an homage to the original games. Whoop, jitter. That, uh... What was it? It was a, uh... Two, uh it was a point two two three millimeter... Not millimeter. Point two two three caliber weapon. And it was always referred to as the That Gun. So... That is basically what brought it back. And it is pretty high damage output. It runs on the 5.56 round. And basically, it's, it's pretty good. I said I wasn't going to use it, but I decided it's probably a good investment at this point. Because <laughs> it'll run ammunition that I'm finding a plenty of with those who are using varmint rifles and it is a good close range weapon and what I replaced the varmint rifle with is the hunting rifle which is a little bit better looking a lot better looking than I remember and it was a caliber that's not commonly used uh, where am I going? The entrance is over there it's a caliber that's not commonly used in this part of the wasteland, the 308. But when it was running in Fallout 3, it was the 32, which was a lot more common. But I guess they didn't want that. They wanted this to be a more powerful weapon, so they changed that up and made this more chambered for the 308, which is fine. You know, it's understandable. This is the sort of rifle you try to aspire to for long range. I prefer the trail carbine because it uses the 44, and I can make more of that. But you know, it works. Is there any duct tape around here? No, I don't think so. Talk hey, to Chris. Have you found the components we discussed? Yes, it nearly killed my ass. <laughs> An entire container of the igniting agent. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container be. shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Fair enough. Uh, the rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. And yeah, he'll find out that... Rockets, yeah, he'll find out. I won't do anything. Anything around here that I can use? Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen Let's listen to this. We earned it. Jesus the time Christ. Has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks, and promise never to forget how we cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. Morning. Morning. Hey. Man, they just Hey. Way Did to break it to Chris. Me? My god, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. They'd take you if you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. 
And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? It... it's shut... it... it really does suck, though. I mean... They tried, but he wouldn't listen, and now he's... He feels betrayed, and it's understandable, but... Ah, Jesus. They're going to revere you as a saint, Chris. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? Pretty what much. Rock. The human race can't stand me. That's not true, Chris. You're alright. I mean, you insult me a bit when you thought you were a ghoul, but... So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? it was not particularly my plan. There's a little town called Novak down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? A little I bit. I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. Alright. There we go. Now there is a path with Chris where you can use him to destroy the rockets but you have to give him sugar bombs to destroy the fuel in a way but I'm not that vindictive against the ghouls they're alright they're not you know they have their faults but they're alright but there's apparently also a way you can adjust the trajectory the trajectory there we go, my tongue's starting to work. I'm not drunk, I swear. And I've never been able to do that. I never have my science skill high enough. But apparently there is a way to do that. To fuck with the rocket's trajectory. There, I got it right that time. And maybe send them in a different direction. Maybe send them straight into the ground. I don't know. I've never done it. But if it... It's available. It's available right at the pad you go to launch them but you know like I said I'm not that vindictive against them they're pretty alright um it's not that door is it no it must be that door okay we go right the fuck back up I don't expect any resistance but I have my gun out cause you know it's a it's a comfort thing uh, I might as well carry all these microfusion cells, and I can sell them later. That's always good, right? I mean, it's not like I'm going to be using them. The only good energy weapon I found is the Gauss rifle, and I don't really get that. Like, unless I'm fighting uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. That's who they are. And I don't really do that. And it's good observation deck. It's a navigation console. Yeah, and this is where you would screw it up. But you just leave it alone if you're too dumb to do it. And activate the launch button. It's Rise of the Valkyries. <laughs> Doodle. Yay! I am liked. Enough news of your good works have been passed around that people like you. Alright. And I get a level up. Awesome. Go Beans. And we get... What was that? Level 9. There we go. Now what we're going to be doing is dumping points into the lockpick skill for right now as I do want to get it up to average and the rest will be probably put into hmm. I might as well continue up my plan of building up repair and guns I should 
Uh, but I do need to up my speech a bit. Eh, screw it. We'll just go with guns and repair for now. And we'll fix, you know, things later. There we go. Alright. And it pretty much plays the entirety of your way out. The Rise of the Valkyries. And it is a pretty cool song. So I cannot really say anything bad against it. Uh, now we'll just be picking up uh, microfusion cells. Um, I'll probably be cutting that part out. It might not. I don't know. <laughs> At this point, I'm just happy I survived that one encounter, so I don't even give a fuck anymore. <laughs> okay, and my radio's deciding to be a bitch. Let's shut that off. No, nope, it's not my radio, it's the place's radio. In that case, fuck me. I just gotta sit here and listen to it. Uh, there's a lock around here that required a uh, average lockpicking skill, right? I swear there was. I know there's a couple in some other places, and I'll do those off camera. Uh, not this way. There, that was one. Uh, pick that up. And laser rifle, too. Might as well. I mean, I could pick up the drained ones, but I kind of want the immediate buying. I mean, the immediate selling. Uh, now that I have enough, you know, empty weight to actually haul them around, I kind of want to have them just to sell them. Before, I didn't really have that sort of luxury. Uh, I'll fix those fusion rifles together. Or would they be better... Yeah, they would be kind of better selling them separately. So we'll just do that. So anything else? Uh, there's this guy here. Microfusion cell. Yep. We're pretty much good now. We'll uh, head the fuck out of here. And we'll be on our way back to Novak to finish up the quest. Or mission. I, I feel so weird saying quest in this game. Because it's not really a quest. Because quests are more medieval-like. I didn't even notice this motherfucker was here. But yes, yeah, that's just me. I don't even know. Yeah, we'll call those good. I have the room to carry them. Why the fuck not? You know? And this guy here. And whoop. That, eh, fuck it. Why not? Uh, this guy has a plasma rifle. Holy shit. And ammunition boxes. How the fuck did I miss half of these? Because I'm an idiot. That's how. Uh, I didn't want the freaking... You rarely find those. That's actually a good round. I'll repair these two together just to save weight, and I still am overweight. Fuck. Uh, what? I could... I could have a sarsaparilla. I need the, uh... You know, that thing. The weight stuff up. And I need the health, too. That's what I meant to say. Uh, ammunition box. That is a lot of frickin' weight for the missiles. Uh, am I carrying any flame or fuel? I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm carrying some. I didn't really want to. There we go. Fuck that. Whee! Okay. Now we'll head out this way. Back out towards civilization. And... Huh. Just keep on going. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to warp there. Keep this place in. Keep this playthrough interesting. Place. I'm dumb. It's all dumb in my brain right now. Oh man, oh man, oh man. That was exciting though. Last episode, wasn't it? 
Even though I completely lost my goddamn mind, it was fun. It's a fun losing my mind. Hee 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 hee. Uh, someone up there. Oh, I think that's my uh, dude I'm supposed to talk to. I think. Maybe. We'll find out. Uh, Welcome back. Can Cliff I get you anything? Bris sure, I swear I'm able to read English. English. I swear I'm able to understand English. It's just not coming out of my mouth correctly right now. Uh, yeah, those are not actually that heavy. I'll be keeping those. Um, well, there's those. And where's, yeah, there's those, those. Hey, I'm making my money back now. Cool. And sell those. Ooh, pretty much get all of that back. Wait, I had missiles? Sure I didn't even know I had missiles. I'll sell those too. Didn't really want to be carrying those, but whatever. And is there anything else? Nope. I think I'm good. Yep, I'm good. Now we need to talk to this dude. Uh, don't know why I pressed the pause button on accident. And we'll finish the episode after this. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Yeah, I had plenty of luck. The ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. I should. I have plenty of bullet holes and whatnot in me because of the last little encounter I had just today. And now about the man I'm looking for. Okay. I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. Mm -hmm. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Where's Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Hope that helps. I owed you. Yeah, you did. You owe me more. I fucking lost my ass almost. I did twice. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. Idolized. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Fuck yeah. All right. That was a little blown out with the mic. Anyway, we'll call the episode good here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. I post them daily. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And, you know, share and comment so we're able to talk about how much of a rebound this episode was from yesterday's. And, you know, share it around so everyone else can see I'm still actually pretty good at games. <laughs> Uh, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.